Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the makeup items that I'm glad I didn't buy. Now, these are products that got a lot of attention that I maybe or may or may not have kind of been interested in, but I'm looking back now like, yeah, good thing I saved my money. So my friend Samantha has done similar videos before. She has a whole regret series and she's done videos about, let me see if I can say this right, products she doesn't regret not buying. Did I say doesn't regret no. Yes. Product she doesn't regret not buying. So I'm going to leave Samantha link down below. You already know I love her. So if maybe for some reason you've never seen her channel, definitely check her out. But she's done similar ones, so I wanted to shout her out. But the palette that inspired this, I was watching some videos where people talking about the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. And I'm sitting there like, whew, I'm glad I didn't buy that. And then I was like, well, maybe I should film a video about that. So I started thinking if I had any other products that would fall under that category and I got a nice list for you guys so the first one of course is the mini Lila palette and I was interested in this because one I love mini palettes two I've kind of interested in Natasha Denona and three I was falling into the into the purple trend so I was like actually kind of close to picking this up now I'm glad I didn't get it because Number one, I've just heard so so reviews on it. Samantha in particular even said that it irritated her eyes and she had to return it. I've heard a lot, of, I've heard some people really like it, but a lot of people are like, meh, it's okay, it's not the best. And the main reason I'm glad I didn't buy it is because once I started kind of evaluating the palette, there's one thing I wish was different. I wish that this shimmery blue was not a shimmery blue, I wish there was a shimmery purple and a matte dark blue because I would see different looks from other people doing like the dark shimmery blue on the lid and I like that on other people but for me it's not my makeup style I probably would never use that dark shimmery blue and that's like the statement color in the palette so I wish that dark blue was a matte to like deepen up and I wish they had a shimmery purple because this is the Lila palette but there's like two purples and one's more of a red so I'm glad, even though it's only $20, $25, I'm glad I passed over that one. One that I was kind of interested in and I'm glad I skipped was the Lemonade palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I heard some pretty poor reviews on this, which was very different from the reviews I heard from the Latte palette. People seem to love that Latte palette, which was why I was kind of drooling over the Lemonade palette, because I wanted to try the formula and this color story I thought was fun. But the reviews have not been positive enough for me to, what am, I, what am I trying to say? I'm glad I didn't get it because the reviews have been pretty bad. <laughs> but that being said, I love Kristen Dominique. I think she is like such a, I mean, I don't know her. I've never met her, but she portrays herself as a very kind person. So I want to support her brand, which is part of the reason I wanted to buy this. So I'm going to wait and see what she does next. She's the person I want to support. Another one I'm glad I did not buy is the Face Candy Atlantis palette. So I talked about this in a release rambles and told you guys I wasn't going to pick it up because it wasn't a brand that I support, but I'm not going to lie. There's a little part of me that was like, oh, I kind of want to get it because I love those colors and it's unique and it's so affordable. But I told you guys I don't feel comfortable supporting the brands on Shop Hush that just copy other brands. Now let me say I will. I recognize that there are arguments on both sides of that, so I'm not here to say that you have to agree with me. But it's just something that leaves me unsettled, so it's not something I want to support. So I didn't buy that palette, and then the reviews of it were not so great. So I was very glad I did not buy it. Even though it was affordable, I still am glad I saved my money. A palette that I haven't even heard any reviews about, but I'm glad I didn't buy because I forgot about it, I like completely lost interest in it, is the Zoeva ICI palette. Did you see I even had to look up the name that I had written down because I could not even remember what it was called. That's how much interest I had lost in it, in, in this. In <laughs> so I mentioned in a release rambles a while ago that I was excited about this and I was debating picking it up because I thought it was pretty, it was cool tone, it was kind of different, the packaging is beautiful. But since making that video, there hasn't even been like a little bit of me that's been like, ooh, I should go ahead and get that palette. Like, it, I forgot about it completely. It wasn't until I was looking through release rambles to formulate this video that I realized, oh, I'm glad I didn't get that because clearly I did not care. One that I was very close to getting was the Flamingo palette from Violet Bob. 
<laughs> Violet Boss. Now this one I've heard mixed reviews on, but I'm glad I did not pick it up because the attention surrounding that palette died off so quickly and I realized I have some pretty colorful shades in my collection. Violet Boss shadows, in my opinion, in my experience, are overpriced for the quality that you get and I look back and I'm like, yeah, I think if I had that I would use it, I would probably like it. Like, I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world to own that. But I'm looking back like, I'm glad I didn't get that. I have other things that kind of fill that spot in my collection that I prefer, that I'm more excited about, so I don't regret not buying it, as Samantha would say. I was so interested in the mini Zodiac color icon wheels from Went Wild that came out with the Zodiac collection, and let me tell you guys, up until recently, I was not very into astrology, and it's because, it is because of the cosmetics industry that I have become obsessed with astrology. Because every brand has been releasing Zodiac collections, I was finally like, okay, whatever, I'll look at my birth chart. Everyone keeps talking about this, and ever since I did that, I have fallen down the rabbit hole. I'm obsessed. So, I love Wet n Wild, and I'm like getting into astrology, and okay. I am a water sign, my moon sign, my rising sign, and my sun sign are all water signs, so I was like, yeah, I need to get the water palette. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it because I, I mean, I wouldn't have been a total regret because these are so affordable, but everyone said, you put these on, they look nice, and then an hour later, they've completely faded off your eyes. So even though they're affordable, for me, it wouldn't even have been worth it because I wouldn't really be able to wear it. And finally, the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I almost talked myself into that one because I love Juvia's Place. It's a brand I love supporting and there was a lot of buzz so I was like, maybe I should get this. And I'm not, it's not like I'm glad I didn't get it because the reviews were bad. Most of these I've heard bad reviews on and that's why I'm glad. With this one, people love it. Like People say it's amazing. It's just as high quality as I would expect. But I'm glad I didn't get it because I'm like, you know what? All of these looks are amazing and they're beautiful, but I can make them with things that I already have. So instead of buying this nine pan palette from Juvia's Place, I could buy a different one or I could buy a palette from a different brand down the road. I could just invest my money in a better route. So I don't doubt that I would enjoy that and I would get use out of it, but it wouldn't be anything different than what I can create right now. So. I'm glad I ended up skipping over it. So that's gonna go ahead and complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing the products that I'm glad I didn't end up picking up. If you guys have any products like this that you are like, good thing I skipped over that one, let us know down below. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.